What's going on guys? So this is my new studio shop and it has been completely upgraded and I would like to give you guys a quick tour of it. So I just went to Harbor Freight and spent a hundred and forty four dollars on all of this stuff it will let me get one more step closer to getting this gigantic mess sorted and cleaned up but um, unfortunately that's what it takes to get it done so we're gonna go ahead and finish with everything maybe get some of this stuff up and then I'll show you guys the final well, not the final, but the progress that I've made today. All right, so I got power ran over there. And then I ran this over here, and that's probably where the bench is going to sit. And then I put up some shelves. Now I'm thinking about this vise. Finally got it about 99% done. And I kind of wanted to show you guys, well, my shop. Basically, the way everything is constructed and layout is that I have what I call a first order retrievability, meaning that if I need something, I, um, it's available. I can go right to it and grab it and get what I need. Um, I already did a video about the wood storage and all that. This is where I keep all my piping and wood and everything, and I keep bigger sheets. Uh, this is my fan section. So I have fans here and then a fan there. Um, and then my other two, three fans. Uh, the shop gets really hot in the summer and you definitely needed it. We took out that ladder and all that stuff that was there. I haven't 100% yet figured out what I'm gonna do with that. Eventually I would like to incorporate a dust filtration system in here and it will probably sit there, the cabinet will. Um, and we'll build that ourselves. I'll do a video on that. And yeah, kind of go from there. Over here is just kind of where I have uh, tripods and other things and where I keep cords at. More tripods. Uh, that's my cable caddy that I have. My new saw, I just did a video on this. Make sure to check that video out. And then if you come over here, this is where I keep my saws, um, all my glues and chemicals and carbon fiber stuff down below is uh, my power tools and I keep like my spray cans and glues power bridge there's some more tools and then over here is like uh, my computer cases just most of that stuff has computers parts in it I just haven't messed with it yet so so anyway I uh, keep a lot of my power tools underneath here and stuff um, all of this these lights and then there are LED lights that run behind here you can actually see one of them sticking out right there um, they all run on a remote um, same with this over here if I flip it on it will turn that light on as well um, but in my infinite wisdom I have misplaced that switch so I don't know where it's at right now I don't the remote it's about that big um, it's I did something with it I'm not sure where it is uh, but anyway uh, I got all my tools and stuff down here and all my sockets and angles and power tools uh, like my wrenches and then you have like my screwdrivers and then you'll have my power rent or uh, my drills and I have a couple of different kinds of them this kind that kind uh, so on so forth and then that's what's down there um, my shotgun that I just got done it looks amazing um, the shotguns really old um, and I just finished restoring it so I think I did an incredible job on it I wish I could have showed photos of what this looked like before I got it um, but yeah it looks looks brand new compared to what it did Anyway, moving on, um, over here is where I have like my hardware and stuff. You'll find screws and brackets, bolts, um, cables. There's all kinds of stuff, hardware, everything you'll need, gloves. Um, down in there is like um, different types of materials and stuff. 
and then over here I have all of these these are uh, like my brushes and all kinds of markers allen wrenches different types of tools um, these are like my smalls uh, these tools over here do certain things so I just kind of keep them like that and then my soldering station you know uh, my adjustable circuit board holder and shrink wrap and 550 cord uh, you know things of that nature and that's where I keep my other stuff like um, tape <laughs> uh, we got some wire and some hoses and stuff uh, the workbench that's in the middle here I'm not sure what to do with it just yet um, and then when you come down uh, there's the camera say hi uh, my motherboard holder <laughs> uh, more materials and stuff I put all the materials down here so that way I can have immediate access to them so when I want to build something I can build it um, plexiglass steel tubing plastics aluminum aluminum tubing um, all kinds of stuff casters just all kinds of stuff tubes LEDs wires plumbing sheet metal there's um, all kinds of foams and tubes in there and then over here this is like power supply stuff and other things this whole wall is dedicated to the computer stuff so Basically, all of my water cooling and stuff will be done over here. Um, my motherboard. I love that motherboard. Too bad it's dead. That's why it's up there. All of my stock CPU coolers. Some of my water cooling pumps and stuff. Um, tubing and fitting. And um, I put some boxes of stuff up there. Um, like that has that item in it. And that one does too. These are my radiators. I have a 360 rad another 360 rad those are all my alpha cooled quick disconnects and then you know of course I have other radiators and stuff that are waiting for upcoming projects and then all kinds of little tools and gizmos and stuff this over here um, this is so I can test components um, I have a power supply built into a Molex and then the Molex terminates to a fan um, and then this right here what I do is I run a jumper I'll run a jumper on that on the 24 so it'll allow me to use the SATA and then of course the Molex so that's nice to have um, a power supply sitting on your bench um, things of that nature my IC dock power dock that's pretty cool um, kinda over here this is where we keep some of the tools and stuff uh, my H100i Pro and then my GTX 1070 by Zotac um, I didn't know where to put those, so I just put them there. Um, this is pretty cool. I built this little stand thing here to basically hold my power tools. So when I'm done with the router, I can put it there. And then my staple gun slash nail gun, when I'm done with it, I can just set it back. And then same with my hot air gun. Whenever I'm done using it, I can just put it back and it sits like that. And then these mount there like that. It's pretty cool. I put in this big power thing down here. Um, these are my grinders. You can tell this one right here is brand new. Haven't even used it yet. Uh, and my new small vise. I have a big vise over there for other projects, but I needed a smaller one for other projects, and I wanted one that had a, a hammering surface on it, so I got that. Um, this is my smaller grinder, and then my sander. This is my face shield dummy. He basically um, keeps my face shield in the upright for me. Um, this is a light project. I actually um, did a video on this one right here. I painted it black and stuff, and what I was going to do is mount it over there to give me it, because this thing's extremely bright. Uh, oh, yeah, my power switch. So if I want to turn something on, I just turn that on, and it gives action to everything. All the different stuff, all my brand new. I love them it's awesome new tools and stuff I haven't even opened this or that um, I put in this magnetic strip right here to hold my chucks and other kinds of little bits and tools because I have my um, my bench drill press sitting there uh, more stuff more water cooling stuff blah 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 and we already went over that and then here is the other this is the back side of it so when you come in through this way oh real quick the reason why I bent 
built this heavy duty shelf is because I want to put an air compressor and stuff on there to run air to both sides of the workshop, um, which is the idea. And we still have a lot more tools and stuff to go. Um, there's some of my camera cables and stuff like that and other tools and things. Um, this is where I keep like my drills and easy outs and tap and die set and things of that nature. Uh, come this way um, this is the set the studio um, we're going to be doing some builds and stuff I still have this one build that I've been talking about to you guys um, that it's just it's been put on hold right now because the whole job thing's been kind of killing me and no money's coming in and stuff so um, yeah this is basically a set underneath here is all of our foam and crafts and stuff and then that whole thing is full of keyboard and mouse I had so many of them that I needed a giant crate to put them in uh, microwave more stuff um, I haven't decided what to do with that my LEDs uh, this is like all of my RGB stuff that's an LED stuff that's in there all of my electrical stuffs in there um, I put my two cases that I have left I put the up there for good storage you know and you have like your ram um so like i have ram just kind of sitting up here chilling ddr3 ddr2 ddr4 um these are all kinds of different types of um pci express stuff and things of that nature uh these are all of my cpus and stuff i have another box of them somewhere i'm not sure where it is actually Oh yeah, these are all of my hard drives that I got down here. Um, one terabyte, three terabyte, 500s, 80s, and 2.5s. All of them work and stuff. Um, I just keep them down there. DVD players, uh, more computer hardware. That's a Zotac GTX 1060. And then the Aorus 370 gaming. That's the, the one that's in my current build. And then yeah, more electrical stuff, um, bins that have not yet to be filled. Oh, over here, this is my camera cabinet, and then um, that's our that's our chassis that we built. We're going to add on to this chassis that I built. I did an incredible job on it. Um, this is the camera cabinet. Basically, this is where I keep all of my camera gear. I know it's kind of dark, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is where I keep all my camera gear and stuff um so yeah guys that's basically the shop um there's video that i'm going to show you guys of what it looked like and what it kind of looks like now and stuff so i i hope you guys liked it uh the microphone see my foam starting to fall apart because we haven't been out here in so long um that right there is my solution to a garage door opener <laughs> but yeah um i hope you guys like it please subscribe to my channel and yeah, so I worked hard on this, man. I built everything. Um, I built all of the benches, 